Welcome back, guys. Here is our lesson three on ordering decimal numbers. Last week, we worked on comparing decimal numbers, and so now we're going to move right along and use those same skills to order four different decimal numbers. So real quick, let's review what we talked about last week. So if we were wanting to compare 1 and 52 hundredths to... 1 and 48 hundredths, we could use our place value skills to compare these. So we start here in the ones place and we see that these are the same. So we move down to the tenths place and compare those. So then I ask myself, what is larger, 5 tenths or 4 tenths? And since 5 tenths is, good job, we are going to write our comparison like this. We're going to say that this is the bigger number, this is the smaller number, and draw our greater than sign. Okay, now I thought I'd put two more decimal numbers into this problem and let us figure out how to put these in order from least to greatest. I always like to draw L to G if it's least to greatest or G to L if it's greatest to least. And then I start putting them in order. So I, I know what these two are compared, but let's look at all of them now in the stack. So let's compare the ones place first. Oh, and they're all the same, so I can move over to the tenths again. And I'm looking for the least number here, the least digit. So four, I see, is the smallest. So I'm going to go ahead and put that one in right here as the least. And I'm going to cross it out as I use it. That way I can see what I have left and I won't get confused. Okay, next I'm noticing that I've got five tenths and five tenths. Those are the same. That six tenths looks bigger, so I'm going to wait on that one. And then I'm going to move on over to the hundredths place. Since the tenths are the same here, I've got to compare the two hundredths and the five hundredths. What is smaller? Good job, you got it. The two hundredths is smaller, so I'm going to put that one next. Cross it out. Okay, and then I'm going to use my other one, that, which makes sense because 55 hundredths sounds bigger than 52 hundredths. So that makes sense. Cross it out, and then I'm just left with the one last number so I know it goes last. And 61 hundredths is definitely bigger than 55. So I have it in the right order. Now we're going to try another example with this fun problem that I made up for you with illustrations. These four veggies are out to prove who is the fastest Asparagus, olive, jalapeno, broccoli. They get to their spots at the starting line. And pow, they're off. Broccoli is in the lead. Oh, wait, here comes asparagus taking the lead. And asparagus is the winner. All right, now it's your turn to pause the video and put these times in order from least to greatest. All right, now let's check your work. Let's see how we put these decimals into order from least to greatest. So I like to start with my largest place value and just take a look. Can I compare those twos in the tens place? No, I've got to move over and look at my ones place then. My smaller ones place, since I'm trying to find the least number, my smallest one is three and three. So then I'm going to keep moving over 
and compare those two. So now in the tenths place, I've got an eight and a nine. And we know that that eight is the least. So I'm gonna put that right here. Okay, then I'm gonna cross it out when I'm done with it. Okay, and then I know that my other 23 is gonna be, is gonna come before the 24s. So I'm gonna put that one next. Okay, because I know 24 is larger than that. So I'm gonna cross it out. Then I can compare the these two numbers. So I've got 24 and 12 hundredths, 24 and 50 hundredths. I can tell which one sounds smaller just by saying that 12 hundredths and 50 hundredths. 12 sounds smaller, but I can also check the tenths place. So what is smaller, one tenth or five tenths? Good job, it's the one tenth. So that one goes next. Okay, cross it out. And then I only have that one left, 24 and 50 hundredths. All right, great job to Asparagus who won the race. His time is the least, which means he finished it the fastest. Then we had broccoli in second place. Great job. Then jalapeno in third place. And last place, olive, but he still tried his best. Great job to all four veggies. Woo! And great job to all of you. I will see you next week for our next lesson.